Hey babe. Yes. You training? Yes. She's gonna make some gains. Yes. I'm not training team because you're fat. <laughs> I'm still not feeling 100 percent but I feel fine now, don't I, to be fair. Yeah. I just don't want to be training, I don't want to jump into a gym session. I feel like I could, but I won't, and sort of thing. Had pims, so... <laughs> it was as soon as I had the pims that I felt better. <laughs> Alcohol was the cure. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to introduce the bloody video. So today is actually going to be a little bit of a Q&A, kind of. I'm just going to go throughout my day and answer like answer like three questions as we go along but um we shall see how it goes i'm not a fan of just sitting down and recording bloody question after question i'm not about that life but we've had a few questions come in so far and we'll see how it all goes we'll just take it as it comes really plenty have come in already as you can see so well let's go i suppose drop the video a like comment down below subscribe if you are new get to know me a little bit in these q and a's I haven't done one for like nine months, yeah. if I remember rightly. Yeah. Anyway, hey, don't lie down, you need to train. Come on, let's go. Come on, get down those stairs, get down those stairs. Come on, come on, you got this, go, come on, come on, pass that. Come on. Oh, hang on, let me just, uh, let me just grab. I'll do. Come on, babe. Babe, come on. Come on, it's time for you to train. Okay, question number one from Sid Hubbard. What's your ambitions for the future? Two words, bro. World domination. Either that or get shredded. One or the other. Two words, same thing. Mm -hmm. Next question. When's the next merch dropping? Um, that will be um, ASAP, really. I want to work on some hoodies. I want to work on some more t-shirts. Um, but COVID kind of put a delay on everything on my... Winter 2K20. Yeah, probably. Probably closer towards the winter now. In which case, it will probably be hoodies. What, what do you think, babe? Yeah. It'll probably be hoodies Maybe because... Sweatshirts. Yeah, hoodies or sweatshirts, let me know in the comments which you would rather see. But um, yeah, ASAP, I actually planned on bringing stuff out around about now, around about the time of body power, which obviously would be now. Um, but then everything got delayed, everything got postponed, and it was just unexpected for kind of everybody. And so it doesn't really make sense for me to bring out kind of two launches, if you like, whilst we're still in, in, in lockdown. I want everything to kind of start easing a little bit, and then I can get planning, get talking with the supplier and all this kind of stuff. Um, and we can go from there. But until that point, um, I'll just keep kind of working on it up in here, you know? Also, plenty of questions rolling in about body power. Hardly surprising. Um, thoughts on body power potentially being in October. Um, well, just a few more. I can't scroll down and find them all in one go. But a few questions about body power, whether I'm going to be there for one, and my thoughts on you know whether it's going to go ahead for two. Um, of course, I'll be there. Myself and the old man have actually rescheduled our booking. We never cancelled our booking for May. We just changed the dates for the October dates. Um, so instead of being 15th, 16th, and 17th, 17th of May, we just changed them to the 30th, 31st and 1st of um, October and November. Um, but in terms of whether I think it's going to go ahead, I mean I hope so. I hope it's things are back to normal by then because that's six months time. But um, you know, you've always got to bear in mind the possibility of things, of, of massive events being cancelled for like the next bloody year, you know. So of course you have to bear in mind the possibility of it actually not going ahead which is pretty shitty but it is what it is um and it could happen but let's just hope it doesn't let's stay positive and stay on track with our goals as much as we possibly can until that point in time um but if it is going on and it is going ahead um we'll be there yeah 100 percent. hey babe what were we saying about getting back on track as of yesterday i think this is one last hurrah before we sort the shit out right I think this is uh, one last feast. We're, we're gonna have barbecue, nice brioche buns, full fat butter, the lot. Show them how many I burn. Yeah, Charlotte put my watch on today and actually burned a few hundred calories, so the rings are gonna be hit, but it's through no fault of my own. It is actually 
Charlotte's hard work that's done it. If you could only pick one my protein product, what would it be? The rest of my life? Yeah, if you could only pick one. Probably a brownie. Okay. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I'm gonna. I was gonna go for clear way. Probably a brownie. A brownie. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Clear way for me though. What's your training split from Brendan? My training split is five days: legs, push, pull, uh, upper lower, or upper lower push pull legs, upper lower legs push pull, whichever way um, you want to do it. Um, it's linked in the description box down below. It's on the site, and you can get twenty percent off. Actually, twenty three percent. I did twenty three percent off for my birthday, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Um, code girlfriend was in some uh, cashola off the plan. It's linked in the switch box um, down below. LSJ for the stock. Do you want a pim? Of course I want a pims. Perfecto. Dang. Brioche base, muscle food, hash, whatever it is, bacon, cheese, double layered, sausage, boom. Dinner has gone down and we are now uploading the video that you saw last. The diet, getting on track with my diet thingy. You know, we've just seen just how on track we really are. But come tomorrow, we'll, 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 we'll be good, trust me. Stick with me. So, before we take this video any further, answer any more of you lovely people's questions, we've got to get to the weekly activity of the giveaway. So. I run two giveaways, right? One at the end of every month and one every single week. Challenge number one is at the end of every single month. Anyone that uses my link and uses my code LSJ for my protein, um, I'll put your name into like a list or a pot or a hat or whatever you want to call it. Just randomly generate a winner that will win something from my protein, courtesy of myself at the end of every month. That is competition number one. So to enter that one, you need to use my link and my code. Send me over a screenshot on Instagram um, and we'll go from there. I'll sort the rest basically. And competition number two, Numero dos is the weekly competition where you, if you win, you can win a 250 gram bag of protein in a flavor of your choice. As long as it's on the site, as long as it's in stock and a 250 gram size bag, it's yours if you win this competition. And that is the one that I am announcing now. I do this every week. I've done it every week since the start of lockdown uh, and I don't know when I'm going to stop it. It's just one of those things. It's like the, the clap on a Thursday. It's no one knows when to stop. I'm just going to keep going until uh, until I become skin, I suppose. So the weekly competition is actually an exercise competition. I basically pick an exercise each week and you guys make it as cool, as fun, as interesting as you possibly can using whatever or whoever you have at home to make it fun and just, just imaginative, you know? Um, so this week was actually a row competition. We've done lateral raises, shoulder press, we've done ab exercises, all sorts, right? And this week was the turn of the row. And so we actually had entries where people sacrificed their bags for life. Bags for life were ripped in the process of making some of these videos. And the winner, who's actually won it before, by the way, if you have won in the past, it does not matter. This is a clean slate every single week. I will give it to the best entries. The same person could win it five weeks in a row. I'm pretty sure this same guy won it maybe two weeks ago, something like that. But... I'm just gonna play some funny music over the top of it. Job well done, David. Drop me a message, my friend, and we will sort your prize out. This next week's challenge, we are going full circle, people, back to week number one for the push-ups. Push-ups will be this week's competition exercise. That's the right word, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. competition exercise. How fun, how creative, how innovative can you make your at-home push-ups? Just for reference, people were using clear weight tubs, people were using monsters. Just make it fun and interesting and you will stand a good chance of winning. Good luck team. You have until Sunday to get your entries into me. So, next question. We will go for... Harvey, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um, uh, chill the fuck out would be the advice I give to my younger self. I used to be a right... Yeah, I used to be a right <laughs> stress head. Just in general, like, especially at school, I just stressed about all the little things that just you don't need to stress about. Um, obviously, with age came the relaxation of those things. Um, but, yeah, I would just say 
to relax, everything will work out one way or another in, in the end. Everything happens for a reason and all that. <laughs> um, what about you? You will lose weight. <laughs> You'll be fine. And brown hair doesn't suit you. <laughs> I had black hair. It was pretty much black. It was black. Wasn't it? it wasn't a good look. It was. It was like really, really, really dark brown, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was black. Yeah. It was supposed to be dark brown, yeah. and it went black. I didn't know Charlotte at the time. I've seen photos though. It was, it was lovely, wasn't it, babe? <laughs> I didn't yeah. say dread carefully. So there is also plenty of questions regarding a meetup. Um, I do not have a specific. Um, meet up as such planned but what I would say is I do want to get you guys involved as much as possible when this whole thing kind of blows over and and we can kind of start to form a new normal go back to whatever was normal or whatever will be the new normal or whatever once this is all blown over and things start to open back up again I will um, not necessarily I won't call them meetups, but I will do more best gym episodes where it will essentially be an open invite for you guys to come and train with me, film the video with me. I get to meet you guys. I just think it would be super freaking cool to get you guys involved as much as possible, especially with everything going on right now. It'll be a nice little pick me up once it's all done to kind of just meet up at a gym, train, have a good session, film a cool video, just have a chat. You know, it, I just think it will be good. Training with subscribers is definitely something that. Um, I want to do, I've mentioned it in the past. In fact, fuck it, I'm gonna make it the title of this video. This will be probably the best title I'm gonna get out of this Q&A. So thank you to everyone who questioned that because it has led me onto this rant about the best gym episodes, which will make a return, a very long awaited return. I'm actually in discussion with a few different gyms right now to as to when like everything opens back up. Whether or not I'll be able to get you guys in for free or not, I, I very much doubt so. Every single Best Gym episode that I've been to, I've actually paid to get in. So I've not had like a free entry at these places. For some reason, people just seem to think that I'm not paying to get into all of these places. But no, I, I have been paying every single Best Gym episode. It's just something that I've wanted to do for a long, long, long time. You know, put in actual names and like, you know, it sounds sounds weird, but like the actual heights of people. Like you see pictures of people, like I'm only a short guy, right? So I might stand next to someone that I kind of picked in my own head through the comment section as being my own height or my own weight or whatever and then they stand next to me and they're like some six foot six motherfucker and I'm just like oh <laughs> hey bro so would I call them actual meetups no uh, training with subscribers is definitely kind of um, on the cards once this is all blown over anyway so next question uh, what would you like to achieve by the time you're 30 um, I, I don't know I don't know everyone is on their own path a job that you know doesn't exist now, may exist when I'm 30 years old. Obviously, I love doing this. I would love to do this for a living. But to be honest, regardless of what career or whatever I'm doing, um, as long as I'm happy, I'm not fussed. I've always said that. I would much rather have a happy, not so quite substantial earning life and in comparison to a miserable but baller kind of life, if that makes sense. Then again, you never see a depressed person on jet ski, do you? Okay, a couple more quick ones. We have Jay. So what started you, what got you started with bodybuilding? Uh, an idol or just always wanted to? I, nothing in particular, really. I just kind of fell into it and found my love for it sort of thing. Um, I went to the gym with my old man a few times when I was younger. That definitely helped. I was always involved in sports as a kid. That definitely helped. All these things kind of combined, especially with this and with just, I just really enjoy it and found my enjoyment growing for it as I kind of got used to it, got better at it and did it more. Um, it kind of just went from there really. In terms of my idols and stuff, that's a completely different story. I could do an entire freaking video on that. So for now, we'll just move on. How did you train as a student managing fitness and work? Well, I thought I was doing well at the time, but every single year I would just get really fat and then like trim down a bit and then get not quite so fat and then trim down a bit. I know that I have this like five year plan of getting slightly, you know, slightly less peak bulk and then slightly leaner, slightly less peak bulk and then slightly leaner. With the goal of in like five years time, the, the peak bulk being my, where I was really happy with a couple years back of, of leanness kind of stage. If you if you subscribe for a while, you know that whole story. But um, yeah, I don't think I actually managed it that well because I was just focused on going out and having a good time more so than, than anything. But anyway, tips for cutting and bulking. 
um, follow uh, what it is that I have for you tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, people. If you have enjoyed today's video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in. If you have enjoyed the video, please, it really, really, really helps us out. Let's smash 75 likes on this video. Videos that get that amount just do better. They just do. If it's at 75 and you're already watching it and you think, eh, it's already got 75, hit it so it gets 76. If we're already at 80, hit it so that we get 150. If we're already at 200, hit it so that we get 9,000 and then I'll retire happy because my ego will be satisfied. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video guys. Seriously, if you made it to this point, I'm obviously doing something right. So please take two seconds, cost you zero pennies, drop it a like it. It really does help. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow. Big ass announcement coming tomorrow. I will see you all then. 7 p.m. 7.15, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. sharp tomorrow. Be there or be square people. You will not want to miss this. Until then, people, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Much love. Together we will grow. And I will see you all tomorrow.